This is what the adapter looks like without the washer attached. I pretty much leave it on all the time, except when I'm having guests. And you just pop this piece like this right on. And you just turn it on. And you can just leave it on the entire time the washer is going. You don't have to turn it on and off each time it's filling. And you just plug it right in. For the past couple of years, I've just had the higher drain right into my bathtub. I've never had an issue with it. Um, this is how I do it. Um, I just use my shower head, pop it through a hanger, and pop it back on. The level of the drain needs to be rough, um, just a little bit less than the level of the water in the tub. Otherwise, um, it'll just flow right out mid-cycle. Otherwise, it's the only real quirk. Um, yeah, but then I just do that and I've never had an issue. Okay, into the machine, I'm going to put mm, two pajama shirts. Let's see what else. Mm, two sweatshirts. Um, pair of pajama pants, a pair of work pants, and two plaid shirts, and one dress. So that's about the capacity of a regular load. I'll throw in just some soap and get it started. So I'll press power, the cycle that I want, which is regular, and I'll put the water level on high and start. And then I can just leave the bathroom, close the door and let it do its thing. And I'll come back in about 45 minutes and it'll have clean laundry. Oftentimes, well, one thing I really like about the high year is that I can then double rinse because I have sensitive skin. So I can make sure all the soap residue is gone.